Now, with non-toxic, odorless, water-based paints, automotive paints nowadays, now you can actually do this in your, I mean, right here, I got a basement studio. Um, you could do it in your basement, you could do it in your garage, you could do it in your side of your house, anywhere that you'd want to do this. It's totally odorless, non-toxic. That allowed me actually to go out on the road and not only do demonstrations in tech schools and stuff like that, but I was also on the road doing the first live airbrush show where I would actually bring a vehicle around and actually airbrush live a car right in front of you. This wasn't possible to do in the past because you need respirators, you had toxic paints and everything. But I was actually able to do that and I did it for about two years. I did it from anywhere from uh, Motor Trends. Um, they hired me to go to different shows. I did uh, individual shows that I would pick up. Now this, I'm not trying to sell somebody a get rich scheme. Okay, This isn't get rich overnight, whatever, but believe me, you do make a lot of money. If you want to just be able to spend more time with your family, um, to be able to just have financial freedom, I was able to take and buy rental properties. I bought three or four of them. I paid off my own home. I got all my little toys and everything. Um, very good money. Now, did I always make good money? No. Okay. During a learning process, I didn't have anybody that could actually show me these techniques. I came from um, a time when people don't teach. They don't want to show their techniques or anything like that. So I'd actually have to learn all this stuff on my own. And the learning process is a long painful process that takes a lot of money, a lot of time. I mean, what took me maybe three years to tech, to get down with the fire system, one of the hardest techniques, to get that fire system down to as good and clean and nice and easy and simple as it is, took me about three or four years. Now, the system I'm about to show you is actually tweaked. It's actually done. It takes all the learning curve out of it. I'm just going to show you what took me years to figure all out. Step one, two, and three, and you're done. Um, with the stone. I mean, I actually, to do the cement technique where you go and you do that little stippling with the razor blade and everything, boom, it's done like that. It looks very simple. When I was looking at that in the beginning, and I'd ask people, how you do that? Some would just turn their back on me, wouldn't tell me. Some would take and tell me that you take a paintbrush and you go in there and put every little dot. I'd like to wring their necks, you know. But um, then I just designed a way that I could take a toothbrush, dip it in the paint, in the black paint, and flick the bristles, and get that same spitting technique or whatever. You make a lot of big mess and everything. You make a uh, waste a lot of time, waste a lot of paint. So what I show you in the videos is the quickest, easiest ways to do all these different techniques. Now, like I said, I didn't always make this money, the money I make now. Um, the money I make now sometimes is even about a thousand or so an hour. Um, the flame system that a lot of people are into right You're now. You're talking about a four, five thousand dollar vehicle or paint job on a vehicle, and you're talking anywhere. I've got it down so where I can do it in about two and a half, three hours. That's over a grand an hour. That's even after the body shop gets paid their thousand to fifteen hundred to prep it and clear it. And I go over a lot of the marketing and stuff techniques in the the master booklet. In the master booklet, I also show you the uh, T-shirts how to set up a t-shirt business, um, doing tattoos, doing wall murals, stuff like that. But also we, we go over marketing techniques and how I suggest you do this because you can take and sand the vehicle down yourself, prep it all up, mask it all off, tape it, do all your artwork. By the time you get to the artwork, you're already tired and just want to get it done. So you're going to end up doing less of a job on the thing. But once you get it all done and everything, um, then you got to top coat it, clear coat it, you got to have a spray booth, you got to have some kind of facility or whatever. I go over why it's easier to just stick to the artwork. I walk in to a, a shop and the vehicle's all prepped, ready to go, masked off, it's all worked out and everything. And say the paint job is five grand for the customer. A thousand or so comes right off the top for them to prep it, clear and all that kind of stuff. All they're doing is prepping it and clearing it. They're not doing dents, body work, nothing like that. So about a thousand dollars they get. The other 4000 goes to me for doing this artwork, okay? This is usually stuff that takes you acquired skills. It takes years to learn, but I'm going to show you very quick and easy how to do this stuff. So you'd walk in to a body shop, and you'd, lay, you'd start right in. You'd lay out your white. You'd do your red oxide color there. You'd do your detailing with the little flame stencil. You'd go over it with yellow. You'd be done. Maybe it's going to take you three, four, five hours or more, okay? But as anybody 
ever made that kind of money, 300 to $500 an hour or whatever. But I'll go in there about two and a half, three hours, over a grand an hour. I'll finish this thing right off or whatever, and I'll walk out with a bulk of the money, four grand, okay? And they'll do their part. Then I could go on the next day, I could do another car. Later on that day, I could do it. You know, I could take the rest of the week off and the following week just do a car because I made four grand that week or whatever. But the thing is, for you to do that car all by yourself from start to finish, you're looking at a lot more work just for that extra thousand dollars. And you're looking at at least a week or two for one person to be able to prep and do a whole vehicle like that. So share the work. I teach you how you should work for other Now, also, you don't need any kind of shop. You won't need a shop because you'll actually be using their shop. They'll be out in the limelight. They'll be paying all the bills and expenses. They'll be just calling you when they need your services. And you'll go in there and do that. That allows you to work at all different body shops. You could actually have 10, 15, 20 different body shops calling you to do all different works. You're just going to go and put the, together displays and stuff like that and spend more of your time marketing your name out to all these different body shops, all the different customers, rather than having yourself a shop and spending all that time and money trying to get the name out of this shop. And then somebody did call you that we could use a flame job on this car. It's all ready to go. Uh, I can't leave. i got to watch my shop. Can you bring it here? No, we can't. You know. So I'm going to teach you what I've learned and how to get this system down. But uh, that flame job used to take me a lot longer, come out a lot less detailed. Now that the, the more detail you've got in a paint job, the more money you can charge. So when you actually learn all the different techniques on here, including the advanced techniques, it's going to actually look like you've been doing this for years. When I show you how to do, say for instance, when you see the rust, and it adds a lot of character to it and everything. Well, that rust, I've had other people try to figure out how to do a realistic looking rust. They take some red and brown, mix them together, and they make this nasty little color and stuff like that. Well, that rust color, it'll actually take me two seconds to show you how to do a realistic looking rust. You go, you do that realistic looking rust. We take red oxide, a little bit of black, and we just go and we do that little rust. And boom, you got this realistic looking rust that adds a lot of character to it. It makes it look like you've been doing this for a long time. Because that whole learning curve process took years to learn. And years to get it down, I'm just going to show you. So, that adds value. You know? That adds all the different things I'm going to show you add value to it. And you're going to know them just like that. So, you're, you can charge more for this stuff right from the get-go.